Folks, I'm Gary Whitaker, he's Dick Murdaco, and you are listening to The Way In. And on today's show, we're going to talk about friend of the franchise, Mr. Mike Ricci, and his road to a title shot. On October 21st, in front of thousands at the Bell Center and a live pay-per-view audience, ringside MMA lightweight title on the line against American Darren Cruikshank. You know, it's been three years in the making, and uh, Whitaker, we've seen him fight from his very first fight. No surprise that he won all five of those fights with relative ease. Right, but the surprise came when he got knocked out for the first loss of his career. But as he always does, he bounced back, fought hard, and got a TKO of his own, earning him another title shot. I no longer see a man who expects wins to happen just because he walks into the octagon. I now see a man who understands the sacrifice and hard work it takes in order to add some gold to his swag. But don't take our word for it. Check this out. Ringside MMA 12. On that card, we have Mike Ritchie who will face Darren Kuchang. Mike Ritchie is a phenom. He's a tall guy, a very long guy, a very powerful guy. Kuchang is a very tough guy. He's like a, a mean bitch. You don't want to mess with that guy. I'm definitely not, you know, overlooking Darren Kuchang. I know he's a great guy, great fighter, you know. I mean, that spinning back fist, I'm nothing, not taking anything away from him, you know. That, that was a great, you know, highlight knockout. And it's his for life, but I, I mean, I don't even know the name of the guy that, that he hit. You know, that guy's, that guy's not me. You know, it's a spectator sport. I like to put on a good show. Look for some exciting moves. I like being the bad guy, I guess you could say. I'm positive Darren's going to come in there and try to attempt it again. I don't expect Darren to give, to give me anything, you know. I don't expect him to come in there and lay down and die. So, this is a fight, right? This is mixed martial arts. So, I mean, I've prepared, you know, and I've done everything I had to do. You know, my partners and my coaches have all, all helped me out. So, we both know how to win. We both know how to fight. And it's going to be decided that night. I think the new Mike Ricci is, uh, is a much more dangerous opponent in the cage. I mean, you know, before beforehand, you know, I, I didn't take MMA that seriously. Within a year and a half, I went, I went undefeated. You know, I got a, that, the big Bellator contract, all that stuff. To be honest, without even really trying, you know, I wasn't really focused on the sport. I, I trained for fun. This was like a game to me, you know. And after after waking up on that mat in Chicago, it wasn't a game anymore. You know, then we get to a big show, and it's like we we, we ride this wave of success almost taking it for granted to an extent, I'm sure. Uh, and I can't speak on behalf of Mike, but we all felt that Mike was just unstoppable. And, and so we all kind of, in a sense, needed to grow from that. And then obviously Bellator happened, and we all know the result there. And, and, and Mike, um, you know, Mike's a very intelligent man. Mike is not gonna walk away from a fight like that and just kind of uh, continue to do what he's doing. He, he took the year off, he internalized a lot. You know, I took, I took some time off to you know, get my thoughts together and, you know, just think about things. And But I'm not the same Mike Ricci that I was before. We all lost when Mike lost. It wasn't a, a lone loss. We all felt it and we all um, kind of felt responsible that we all needed to grow from it. I wasn't happy with myself, with my surroundings, you know. I, I wasn't doing anything, you know. Just just kind of hanging, you know. I wasn't, wasn't doing much. And uh, I just, you know, I started to feel feel different towards, you know, the week that I came back. And I remember before I moved out, I, for five days straight, I just stayed in my mom's basement and I just didn't leave. And then when something like this happens to, to a guy like Mike, and he's forced to, like I said, internalize, well, Mike takes a lot from that. And now Mike realizes, uh, even more so than he did before, that uh, at the level that he's competing at, um, you know, we can't take anything for granted. And we have to, we have to look at every single fight as, as the biggest fight of his career. And then I just, I went into the bathroom, you know, and I looked at myself in, in the mirror. And uh, I said, you gotta, you gotta do something with, your, with yourself. You know what I mean? Either you're gonna get up, you're gonna, you're gonna get out of this house and do something, or or kill yourself, roll over and die. You're, you're useless. You're just, you're just wasting life. You know? And then uh, I just, I packed my gym bag and I came back to the gym. I mean, I'm, I'm no slouch. You know, I walked in here, I geared up, and I, I went into the, uh, I went into the cage and I sparred with Rory McDonald for three rounds. I did three five-minute rounds. It was hell. You know, it was hell. The guy is, you know, top-level fighter. I hadn't trained in a year, I geared up and I sparred with him. And I just, just kicked it off like that. I mean, there was a lot of, you know, people were skeptical, you know. Everyone was wondering, you know, what's happening. He's here, is he going to disappear again, you know. They, it took them time, you know, to, to open up, you know, to me again. Which I understand, right. But, um, but I, I proved myself by, by coming in, you know, day in and day out. And taking another fight and, and showing everyone I was dedicated. And, and now if you ask any of my coaches, they, they'll tell you that I'm a new man. 
Uh, Mike is a, is, a, is a focused and extremely determined individual. As a person, I mean, separate even from the athlete, he's extremely competitive. He takes his job very seriously. So yeah, yeah I'll always be myself. You know, I like, to, I like to dress well and, you know, look good and feel good. And that's, that's cool, you know, because I mean, the, you know, my life isn't in the gym, right? And this is my job, but I have a, a life outside here. So I, I like to enjoy life as well. You live once. Right, but things things are not the same anymore. I'm not here to here to play games. You know, when it's fight time, it's fight time, and uh, I showed that it with my last fight. Everyone was questioning, oh, does he have rust? It's been a year, and it was. It, it was a year I took off. I didn't train, you know, and, and I, I, I got back into the gym. I walked in. I said, I want to fight. Trained for two months, and I fought. And regardless of where I was at physically at that point, mentally, I showed a completely different side of myself that no one ever saw before. And now it's just getting. It's just. It's just building. So everyone's going to see a new Mike Ricci this time as well. He almost wants now there to be some payback for what happened with all these you know, future opponents, which makes him that much more dangerous in the cage. You know, with Mike being surrounded by guys like Faraz Zahabi and everybody involved with Zahabi MMA, um, you know, that contributes as well to Mike's state of mind and being able to get him to the next step and get him through what he went through and be able to get back to where he was, which was on the rise to the top. Because, you know, with, with a mindset like Mike and where he's at now, only Mike can stop himself from reaching that goal. He's that good. This is the crossroad for Richie. You become a hero or you go back at the gym and you start all over again. October 21st is all, is all I'm thinking about. I'm sleeping, I'm, I'm dreaming about it. I wake up, think about it. So for me, that's, that's all I'm living for right now is that day, and I've been living for that day. I mean, after that, you know, I'm just gonna go back to you know, my regular life, regular training. But I mean, for now, this is, this is everything. This is the, the do all, end all. I don't care about what happened before this day. You know, I don't care what's gonna happen after this day. You know, people, I've always, you know, people ask me questions, oh, what's next, and what's the UFC this, and UFC that. To be honest with you, like, this is just, for me, it's another fight, you know?